Today, we've been having a lot of fun with our Matt Noyce. Yes. It is a bittersweet day, though, for all of us here at NBC and NBC10 Boston and this entire family because we got to say bye. That's right. Today is Matt's last day with us. And before we say goodbye to you, my friend, yeah. we want to make sure we get a proper chance to <laughs> honor you and embarrass you this, as you like say, to do. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh. This is when we say we have an embarrassing video of you. Let That's it. it. That's Probably it. Several, 22 yeah. years here in New England, <laughs> and here it is. Okay. Hello, Haverhill. I'm Matt Noyce, a fellow Haverhill resident and the weekend meteorologist for New England Cable News. It's going to be a big, big, weird loss without having you on every single morning. So you've been out there in Boston uh, throughout the day. I would have to assume you're noticing the snow ramping up perhaps its strongest intensity of the day. Would that be right? Oh, you are right. We've got the, the intense cold that'll go through Monday, and then we'll be looking at uh, eyeing a storm that could be a pretty juicy one by the time we get to Wednesday. Juicy? Juicy, meaning a lot of moisture, meaning if it's cold enough, a lot of snow. But it's a long way out, five days still. Let's take a look together. Notice some patchy light snow as we get toward lunchtime today. Not a huge deal, but enough that folks will take notice and say, did they say it was going to start this early? Well, if you watched here, yes. It's been great working with you and your passion for weather, like when you made me this diagram of winter weather. It's been fun to hear the science out of your brain and all your knowledge of New England. That is what I mean about River with an attitude. Look at this. You hold that 10, 10, 10 and a half feet all the way from basically you crest at about 8 o'clock tonight. So this is going to go down as the second highest uh, crest on the Spigot River in recorded history. There is no one who delivers a forecast with more passion than Matt Noyes. Matt, we will miss your energy, your excitement, and most importantly, your dedication to the viewers here uh, across the greater Boston metro and New England, and of course, on the first alert weather team. Matt, muchas gracias siempre por tu apoyo desde el primer día y por estar siempre al pendiente de cada detalle, de cada cosa que nos hacía falta aquí en el equipo de Primera Alerta. Te deseamos mucho éxito. And the kids were amazing because they just had their weather unit. They learned about cold fronts, warm fronts, storms, and high pressure. And, and so what we did is we just kind of made that real world connection. We said, okay, so here's what we're doing with the broadcast. We talked about broadcasting during tornado warnings. They got to see the, uh, the weather truck that we have. I'm not crying, Matt. You're crying. This is a bittersweet goodbye. I know it's going to be tough, and I know your heart is so big it has room for weather and your family, but family takes precedent, as you know. I don't know what I'm going to do with without your multiple chairs that you always have right in the middle with the TV and I have to maneuver around here every single day. <laughs> um, and then your desk, oh my goodness. Uh, it's, it's really gonna be tough. Um, I may cry, I may not cry. We'll see about that. I hope you cry because <laughs> we're gonna miss you so much. Uh, your family, you'll always be family here with NBC and NECN, and you are a legend. And to pay homage to its Italian roots, they created this dessert from the white truffles in Italy. The music to this video <laughs> is perfect. It sets the tone. Topped with <laughs> edible gold leaf, two types of cheese, and an ingredient Sip. that comes from sake. Matt Noyce. It's so good. It's, <laughs> it's Matt, so, good job. It's so decadent and dairy. Well, such a sweet. <laughs> it's very white when you need them. You know? <laughs> well, didn't. Matt, you got a voice there. Hey, you know, maybe I should Try, maybe I got a future in this. You, know, you maybe do. I'm missing the boat the last couple of days. I could try. Your yeah, pollen is the worst of its past. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? Nice. <laughs> Create that dance there. <laughs> Some sort of like morning strip tease I was having to get the voice. Oh my Do you have another goodness. job you're going we, to that we don't know I about? I feel like we, we're going to see him on OnlyFans in about <laughs> six minutes, right? <laughs> Back in the day, we used to do Friday dance off, but nonetheless, well. uh, look, it's amazing how fast 20 something years oh, goes. Gosh, it really imagine. is. And uh, all I can say is I'm so grateful to all of New England because when I came here at 23 years old with a suit that didn't fit, folks could have written me off right away. You didn't. Uh, you believe in me and I hope that I delivered for you I plan to continue to do it it'll just be in a different way there's so much with technology AI yeah. and so much yeah. that we can do nowadays I really hope to make a difference and kind of revamp some of the forecasting the way things are done I think I can say from the both of us it has been an absolute honor my friend you Pleasure. are as wonderful a human Pleasure. behind the scenes as you are on that camera and we're all blessed to have worked with you man thank you thanks Bye, Matt. and thank you everyone